So I keep thinking that people can't get any dumber, but then I'm always proven wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, for those who don't know, raw water is unfiltered water, most likely found from a spring or a lake that you drink without running it through a filter. And raw water is also actually the grossest thing on the entire planet. People are actually calling this the water consciousness movement? Okay, people are scared of water bottles because they're being provided by the government. Oh, the founder of this shit show is named Mukande Singh, aka Christopher Sanborn, but whatever, you do you. Claims that we will have dead water if we keep filtering it out. He's claiming that real water should expire after a few months because his does. You can tell me juice cleanses are great for your body next, right? I'll read an actual quote by this maniac. Mr. Singh says, it stays most fresh within one lunar cycle of delivery. If it sits around too long, it'll turn green. People don't realize that because all their water is dead, so they never see it turn green. When I think of healthy water, it turning green never comes to mind. It isn't turning green because there's healthy probiotics and minerals in it. It's turning green because you took spring water, then put it in a bottle without filtering it. How many people pee in the ocean? I think people see an open spring and they don't pee in that. That's just for humans. Animals, they don't care where they are. They don't know any better. They're gonna use the entire world as their bathroom. Of course, animals are gonna be peeing in a spring. You're drinking animal feces. Beyond drinking animal crap, like, that's so beyond dangerous. To drink unfiltered water, you can not only get so many horrible diseases, but you could more than likely die from it as well. But because the label says good for you, we don't care, right? So this maniac, he thinks that our water is poisoned and in his words, in his exact words, we're drinking toilet water with birth control drugs in them. I can bet you my life that our toilet water is more than likely healthier than what this idiot is selling. Also, what birth control drugs in in water birth control drugs in water are you are you serious right now if there was any form of birth control pills in water i'm pretty sure there'd be a way bigger outcry i also think there wouldn't be a lot of baby producing going on here either so if men drank birth control pill water then their breasts would be larger their sex drives would be minimal to non-existent their facial hair would decrease and or be gone and their testicles would shrink to top all that off we all know how trump feels about contraception but why hasn't trump attacked water companies yet to stop putting birth control drugs in water because there is not any in it in the first place. Like, how is Trump the smart one here? You see here is preaching how fluoride being put in our water is a mind control drug that is put in by the government and has no benefit to our dental health. Pseudoscience at its finest. Giardia, diarrhea, bacteria, salmonella, parasites, death. People will actually risk their health for a new trend? Are you kidding me? You know what? Everyone drinking this raw water crap probably thinks that vaccines cause autism and that juice cleanses should be its own religion. That's it. Like, what sane person would do this? But of course, this trend would be overrun by conspiracy theorists. There's no scientist out there that would claim raw water is good for your health. I remember one semester ago learning about raw water in my biology course. The professor was a biologist who had her degree in uh, microbiology and biochemistry. The topic we were talking about was pseudoscience, and she was telling us about how dangerous the influence of pseudoscience had on people, and surprise, she mentioned raw water 
whole lesson was her explaining to us what it was, why it was horrible for you, and why it was just the dumbest thing ever. Never mind, this isn't just some random person explaining to a class about this. This is a professor at a university, and not just any professor, a biochemist who has degrees in biology and in microbiology and whatever else. So she obviously is very reputable and has a lot of knowledge in this. She has all of her proper educational degrees in this. Instead, we're just going to ignore my professor and her educational background and we're going to instead listen to Vanessa Coomerly, who says that fluoride is a deathly toxic chemical and who has a career in landscaping. Let's just let's just forget about you know, teachers and professors and scientists who know what they're talking about have done experiments on this and have done all the research and hypothesis and theories and whatever else. And so we're gonna listen to people like Vanessa Coomerly and about uh, Mr. Singh over here and whoever else like them who's just wearing their tinfoil hats and saying that the government's gonna mind control us. Cause you know, that makes a lot of sense. Never listen to people without any form of education regarding health and wellness because then their ignorance is gonna put your life in danger. Don't drink raw water. I'm gonna leave links and articles explaining why raw water is terrible for you in my little description below. So if anyone has any problems with it and you wanna, you know, dispute about it or something, read over all the articles, watch the videos, and then post a comment below. Bottom line, please, 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 Please stay safe, everyone. Say no to crap water. And I'll see you all next time, okay? Cheers. Bye.